wherever you are before we just wave your your um your palm branch um palm sunday is not a day to just go and eat palm nut soup it's not a day to just go and wave a palm there is more to it than just waving a palm and now um, by the time we are through the service this afternoon you understand one thing that on that day it was more to the palm it was about your destiny for god to transform you to every part of greatness now with this palm you are holding right now there are 30 things you can get from this palm in the next few minutes there are 30 things you can get from this you can get oil you can get mushroom you can get a fuel you can get um the palm nut soup you can get a basket you can get a broom there are so many things you can get from it can i speak to you right now you are about to be useful the days people thought your life was useless Jesus. lift it up right now say i am useful i am useful so anywhere i go anywhere i go they will see my usefulness they will see my usefulness amen matthew chapter 21 verse number two matthew chapter 21 verse number two let's go um let's all read together let's go say to them go to the village ahead of you Amen. and at once you will find a donkey tied there with a cot by her untie them and bring them to now, me so right now look at the verse 2 it says go to the village say go to the village go to the village now let's go to verse number 10 verse number 10 let's all read together when jesus entered jerusalem the whole city was stirred and asked who is this okay so uh in verse 2 he said go to the village and pick the donkey now in verse 10 jesus is in the city with the donkey because now he's sitting on the donkey amen help me to give the title of my sermon to your left and right and say my neighbor my neighbor leave the village leave the village go to the city go to the city turn to the next and say my neighbor my neighbor if they have tied you in the village if they have tied you in the village get out get out see yourself see yourself in the city in the city turn to the last man say my neighbor my neighbor leave the village leave the village you may be seated in the presence of the living god one day an interviewer asked the ruler of dubai now in the next 30 40 years 50 years how do you see dubai the ruler of dubai gave a word and an answer that was quite painful and he said in the next 30 40 years you are going to see weak people in dubai the interviewer said no when we see dubai right now it's so glorious it's so amazing all the tallest buildings in the world are there then the dubai ruler said hard times create strong people and strong people bring out good times but good times also bring out weak people and weak people will end up bringing bad people again because when somebody is having a very good life they tend to be lazy and after they become lazy bad times are created he went on to say in the olden days our forefathers were riding on donkeys then we started moving on well when we discovered the oil and we started driving toyotas now our children are driving range rovers and land cruisers and because they are doing so well the other children are going to drive Rolls royce but after they finish riding Rolls royce they are going to be so lazy they will come back to riding donkeys again can i declare to somebody yes, sir. may god produce something so big and something strong in your life uh, and let me advise you no matter the challenge and the battle that has been designed against you it is god stopping an attack of the enemy from you Jesus. to order your steps for you to be at the right place at the Jesus. right time there are some people that escaped the 9 11 attack do you have some pictures of the 9 11 i uh, do you have some pictures of the 9 11 um the 9 11 you know um one of the famous days in the year um, especially which happened in america in the year 20 um um 2001 when the twin towers were crashed with some airplanes is this in them there do you have it amen you see what happened over there um give me the other picture as well and thousands of people thousands thousands of people actually died they were no more and some people were interviewed afterwards there were different pictures you have the, uh, the other picture here you know different 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 people were interviewed afterwards 
And some people said, this could have been me. And the interviewer was asking them, why do you say so? Number one, one woman said, she was about to climb the place, but she was buying a coffee downstairs. Then the coffee that she bought, she sprinkled it on herself. So she said to herself, she's going home to change her dress. And that's how she escaped. Another man said he was on the highway in New Jersey Turnpike. And there was a serious traffic. And because of that, he delayed. Another man also said he bought a new pair of shoes. But because it was so new and sharp, he cut off his leg. Blood was coming. He went to the pharmacy. That's why he was delayed. And another person also said there was a red traffic light that delayed. That's why he couldn't be there. Can I advise you? Anytime the devil thinks he's delaying you, it is God preparing a massive door for your life. Anytime the devil thinks he's fighting you, it is God making sure your footsteps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. The Hosanna story is never about a donkey. Tell somebody it's never about a donkey. It's never about a donkey. But it's about you. But it's about you. From Sunday School 101 and also from class one, everybody here, you understand one thing that when we were young, our teachers in English class they said they, they showed us something. They said the first of they'll say, What is a now? And they'll tell you, and now is the name of a person, an animal, or a place or an animal, right? So, um, and now is the name of animal or a place, right? Great. Then they went on to say, what is a pronoun? A pronoun is used in place of a noun. So when I see this brother here, I, I might not call him Kwame. I'll just call him him or he, and it will represent him. So when we know this one from class one, you understand that the story of the donkey is not about the donkey, it's about you. Luke chapter 19, verse number 30. The KGV is about to explain to you that it's not about a donkey, but it's about you. Jesus Christ said, he says, saying, Go ye into the village against you, in which you are entering, you shall find a young donkey tied, whereon no man has sat. Lose him and bring him. If we are going by what our teachers taught us, we will know that Jesus could have said, Lose it and bring it. Right. But Jesus didn't say lose it and bring it. Jesus said lose him. If it's him, then it means it's a. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if it is a human being, then this whole story is not about a donkey. It's about you and I, our destinies. So how should we move from the village and move into the city? Do you understand that somebody's village is somebody's city? If you are here and you come from Osu, the person who is coming from Kumase or Kwau or from Koforidria or from Fohoi, when they come and live in Accra and they live at Osu, Osu is their city. But the person who comes from Osu, Osu is their village. So I'm about to show you prophetically, Prophet Daniel, what is a village? Can I show you? Number one, a village represents a place where you come from. Number two, a place where you stayed most of your childhood, you spent most of your childhood. Number three, where your family come from. This is the next one. The location where when they cut off your umbilical cord, where it was being buried. And also the place where when you came out from the womb of your mother, where the placenta was kept. Is your, it can represent your village. Can I continue? It also represents the town where you were born. Or in other words, it is the source of your life. It represents a village. And all these places are places where in the spiritual realm, they have a connection to a person's destiny. Do you know that you can live in Accra, but you can still be in the village? When your life is still in the village, everything at all that you are doing is being controlled from the village. In the spiritual realm, villages have a lot of spiritual implications about a person's life. Before a person dies, the, any, oh, sorry, okay, I'll not use it before a person dies. When any attack happens to a person and the person dies, the attack starts from the village. Psalm 10, verse number 8. Let's look at it right now. If you know this revelation, you'll be very, very careful in the spiritual realm where some of these things happen. It says, he lies in wait near where? The villages. Where? The villages. Where? Is it the city? No. Where? The villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. So the innocent can be in the city, but they are murdered from the village, and the village becomes the reflection of the attack. Yes, sir. His eyes watch him in secret for his victims. So for you to be a victim of any attack, it starts from the village. Pastor Daniel, 
How can I know that my life is being monitored from the village and some things are attacking me from the village? Are you ready? Number one, in, any time you dream, at least once a month, any time you dream once a month, you see yourself in the village. Number two, any time you dream, you see yourself writing exams. And when you are writing exam, you are not able to finish. Or you didn't pass the exam. Or whilst you are writing the exam, the ink in your pen was not coming. Or whilst you are writing, your pen broke or your pencil broke. Another sign that you are in an, um, a village is this. The moment you saw that you were about to complete the exam, they told you time is up. It means you are attacked from the village. Let me continue. You always see yourself at the bus stop. And whilst you are at the bus stop, you are being delayed. When the car was about to come, only you, you couldn't enter. It was an agenda against you from the village. Also, any time you get to a place, you are always late. You always dream and find yourself at the airport. And when you are at the airport, the plane left and you couldn't enter. Or you were ready for check-in. Your baggage was so plenty, so you couldn't enter the plane. It means your life is being delayed from the village. But anybody here going through this attack, Jesus. let the altar of God Jesus. stop it right now. Shut! I come out. I come out. Can I continue? Anytime you are dreaming, you always dream that. Although you are 30, you are 40, you are 50, you are 20, you are 80. You always dream that still you are in class 1. You always dream that you are wearing your school uniform when you are in primary school. It means your life is being dragged backwards into the village. Can I continue? You always dream and you find that your phone has been taken away from you. Your phone is stolen. Your phone is missing. Or your phone is not working. You find yourself in your old house. Where you stayed for a long time. You find yourself with your old first boyfriend, girlfriend. And also, you find yourself, hear me right now, and this one is not a dream. Physically, sometimes when you are there, you can find yourself that you are still young. It means the individual is being attacked and monitored from the dream, uh, from, the, from, the, from the village. Now, with this particular incident about the village, about the whole story with the donkey in the days of Hosanna Sunday, on, on, on that day, let me advise you and show you what actually happened. Now, the donkey was there. Can I get an illustration? Can I get a, um, a, a cloth for an illustration? Um, Ten to a donkey. You're not a donkey. Amen. Amen. Now, um, this is the donkey. Now, look at it right now. This is the donkey. And Jesus Christ said to a disciple, he said to a, a disciple, go over there and get a donkey. Now, he said, when you go over there and get a donkey, um, there will be something strange that will happen. When you're about to pick the donkey, there's a man that will come and stop you. If a man will come and stop you, it means before your deliverance comes, there's always a strong man. Now, hear me. I want to ask you one question. Who is stopping your deliverance? Jesus. number one you don't need me do you know the reason why this the donkey was was just at the junction at the village it was not needed because a donkey in the olden days was a reflection of transportation and every owner of a donkey hear me right now was making money from their donkeys so if this donkey is still tied it means this donkey the engine was not working like you have four uber cars and all the three went to work but only one of them was still packed it means there's a problem i say the truth so this donkey is there, not needed. And Jesus said, the one that is not needed is the one I still need. And Jesus said, but when you get there, there will be a question mark. Somebody will ask a question. Why do you want to untie the donkey? And, uh, and two words are being played over here. Someone say two words. Two words. Now, uh, what are the two words? Jesus said, when you get over there, the owner will ask you why so try to untie the donkey and let the owner stop it 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 um, um, um. so hear me this is the owner and this one is the one that is bringing the miracle but the owner says stop it but jesus said when the owner stops you tell the owner the master needs it wait which means the difference between owner and the master the owner means I own this one in the family but the master says I'm over that one today I came to introduce you to a master and this master will stop the cycle this master will break it right now so I need a master as we turn the altar the master 
is shifting and turning things around in your life, in your family. Let the master activate every greatness over your destiny. Shout, I need a master. I need a master. Say, I need a master. I need a master. Say, let the master. Let the master. We are ending in one minute. Yes, Lord. Say, let the master. Let the master. Stop them now. Stop them now. Say, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Protocols. Protocols. Cease fire. It's okay. It's okay. Protocol. Cease fire. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me finish very quick. Ten, ten service is ready. Cease fire. Please. Thank you. Next time, come to church at least so that you sit in front. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Say, 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 someone said the owner. Oh, I can't say the owner. The owner. And the master. And the master. Say the owner. The owner. So give to me Luke 19, 31. Say the owner. The owner. Now, now hear me. From critical thinking, you will know that owner has more power than master. But no, master has more power than the owner. The owner is only an owner by default. So because you come from that family, the principality is over you. But there's a higher principality <laughs> of... My God, my God. Listen the principality in your family owns you based on the family you come from but when i be in christ i am a new creation so a principality i'm no more under you i'm now a resident of god so a new owner owns me and controls my life when i'm going for the contract i don't care who owns the contract a master is coming from the contract i declare in the name of jesus in the principality in your hometown, Jesus. father's house, Jesus. mother's house, Jesus. where you stay, Jesus. let the master, yes, let the master, yes, so let the master, let the master, sit down after me to pray, sit down, and look at it right now, look at it right now, so say, say my neighbor, my neighbor, it's just not Hosanna, it's just not Hosanna, it's about you, it's about you, okay, Pastor Daniel, right now, look at what it says over here, it says, the Bible didn't say, a master needs it, the Bible didn't say the master needs it. The Bible says his master. Oh, 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 look at it right now. If any, if anyone asks anything, what are you doing? Say his master. So, 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 you are the owner, but he has a master. Okay. You have owned him for a long time, but today, Ownership is about to change. Yes. Listen, listen to me. They held your health, but a new owner is about to control your health. Jesus. They held your Jesus. wealth, but a new owner is about to hold your wealth. Uh, they held your peace of mind, but a new owner, the new owner is that, is that master. master. The new owner is that master. So the Bible says his master needs it. Now let's see the next thing. So, Pastor Daniel, who is a strong man? And what does a strong man do in a person's life? The assignment of the strong man is for you to make sure you don't leave the village. You all know about the story of Nehemiah, right? Yes, he built a wall and Sambalat and Tobiah and Gesham wanted to stop him, right? You know the story? But many people don't know that when Sambalat and Tobiah wanted to stop him from building the wall, they called him for a meeting in a village to destroy him. And he said to them, I'm a man of revelation. I won't come to the village for you to disturb me. Sometimes, if they're looking for you, they call you for a meeting in the village. 6 verse 2 Nehemiah let's take it right now and show the attitude of the strong man Sambalat and Kergesham sent me this message come let us meet in one of the village in the plain of Ono but they were scheming to harm me Jesus. but I said I will not go Stop. today I speak in the name of Jesus, Jesus. And, and, and listen to me when they are calling you in the village Pastor Daniel, does it mean I'm supposed to drive there? No. You can be in a club, but they can summon your name in the village. They don't need you to be in the village. 
but your name can be summoned but when they summon your name a master will step in yes, i said a master will step in a master will step in a master will step in and, and here here this revelation every village every town has a mouth and it can call you so here some some things that happen someone will be there they said ah he was there and something was telling him bra 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 ha, ha, have you heard those stories before he said, ah, he didn't even want to go, but something was telling him. Because every village, every town has a voice. It can call you. But when the city or the village or the town calls you, let the master block the voice. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 42 verse Jesus. 11. Isaiah 42 verse 11. Towns have voices. Let's go. He says, let the wilderness and the towns raise their voices so towns have voices so hear me splinters has a voice where you stay has a voice that's why anytime you go and stay at a place you are supposed to take over the place otherwise the voice of the place can speak for you or against you i want to ask you one question the last time you went to live in your where where you are staying right now sister did you speak to the place hey i've got a new place i've built a new house oh my god i want to ask you it has a voice and it's talking and have you responded to it or you have overcome and overruled the voice but today any voice that is contrary to your greatness but let me give you good news it's not every voice that is bad some voices in some places are speaking well for you don't you know that no matter what some area when you go and say that you make money some areas when you go and stay there when you don't have a car by the time you are aware no one in your car i might say the truth that's right because the voice in the place is speaking for the people that's right there's some places too you can own seven cars go and stay there in seven months you will sell all your cars but let me give you the good news let the voice of the master let the voice of the master the voice of the let master. the voice of the master the voice of the let master. the voice of the master the voice of the shut up the voice yes, of sir. sit down let me tell Jesus. you this. let me tell you this six minutes time listen somebody is staying in america now they are begging before they eat somebody is living at navrongo they are millionaire oh 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 do i have a witness over here it means when i go to america it's not the end of the story the moment i got to america what was the voice in america telling me was the voice in america telling me obey 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 and it was telling me obebre 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 so since you don't know when we get to the america say to the voice hey speak for me work for me do things in my favor ah uh, the last time you took your child to that school did you do speak to the voice in that school did you speak to that voice in that school? Hey, I've got a new shop. That, oh my God. It said, don't you know, people even have shop in Makolaba that broke. Ah, 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 ah. Listen, what is the voice in the place saying to you? Now, I have just five minutes to go. Can I go to the next one? Pastor Daniel, what does the strong man, what does he do in a person's life? The assignment of the strong man. Number one the strong man will make sure you don't live where you are number two the strong man makes sure you don't grow number three the strong man makes sure you don't see progress the strong man this is the next one and this one this is the one that is painful that we will crush it right now the strong man makes sure you become useless why it's a donkey a donkey is supposed to be sat on but nobody was sitting on it was useless why the strong man the strong man or the owner let me continue the strong man makes sure you don't make a move and the strong man always makes sure you are not recognized you know you are talented but nobody needs you those people are clapping their hands for them you can do more than that but as if nobody has seen your face when a guy sees you you are the most beautiful thing since cow's milk but yes still nobody's looking at your face you even took them to the place they they like them more than you is the strong man 
Let me tell some of the things the strong man does. Anytime your helper comes, the strong man goes to warn them in a dream. Because when the helper came, the strong man said, what are you doing? When somebody promises you, all of a sudden the person money finishes. Oh, some of you are here, you too. You promise somebody that you help them. The day you promised them, that was the end. Your money finished. Your trouble started. It is the person strong man that was affecting you. But anybody you are helping that their strong man is fighting you. Let the power of God stop it right now. And you too, anybody going after your helpers. Let that strong man fall down now. Say, I stop the strong man. I stop the strong man. Let me give it to you. Let me give it to you. They go after your helpers. They affect them in their dreams. And things do not work well again. These are the assignment of the strong man. Say the strong man. The strong man. Say to him, say the, say the strong man. The strong man. Say the strong man. The strong man. Say the strong man. The strong man. Say I stop the strong man. I stop the strong man. By fire. By fire. And by authority. And by authority. Now, Pastor Daniel. Good. Yeah, it's okay. Now, Pastor Daniel. Yeah, but you still be there because I'll do a last illustration in four minutes. Uh, but Pastor Daniel, now you've taught me that when somebody is in a village, what happens around them? What happens with the strong man but how do i disconnect myself from the village are you ready yes. how do i disconnect i'm about to show you how you disconnect yourself and how in the prophetic directions you need to do to break yourself off from the village do you know that one day jesus christ was there and um he healed how many leprous people how many people did he heal how many people how many people Ten. how many people Ten. Do you know that the ten leprous people Jesus Christ healed? Do those leprous people, they were standing by the village. Because when you, be, when you get leprosy, they move you from the city and keep you into the village. 17, 12, look and see something right now. It might be KGV. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As, yeah, as he entered into a certain village, they met him. How many men? Ten men. That were lepers who stood far off because the village well, it, it means you can be in the city, but when the disease come, come back. So some people can be very strong in Accra. One day they fall sick and they take them back to their hometowns. But it will not be your person. Amen. It will not be your person. Jesus. The last to say the amen will be amen. the first person to receive it now. Say it will not be my person. It will not be my person. Now before I show you how to break the attacks of the village, I want to warn you. This is a disclaimer. Can I warn you? Yes. I didn't feel second service. Can I warn you? Yes. I said, can I warn you? Yes. This is the warning. Can I warn you? Yes. I want to warn you that because of this village matter, you say that, hey, then I will never build a house in my village. It's a lie. Listen, go and build a house. Oh my God. And Listen, you will build in that village. Yes, Lord. They cannot kill you. Jesus. They cannot stop you. Jesus. Say never. Never. But before you can build, this is what you need to do. Number one, are you ready? How to stop the strong man from the village? Number one. Number one. Number one. Make sure no matter what happens, you overcome that owner. Because when the owner came, all the, the owner, although the owner was trying to stop him, trying to stop him. At the end of the day, who won? Who won? So number one, find everything possible to overcome the owner. And how to overcome the owner, I'll show you. Number two, overrule the voice of the owner. Why do you untie him? This is the voice of the master. The master! This him. It means the voice of the master was stronger than the voice of the owner. Today I silence the voice of Jesus. every accuser yes, against no. you. Yes, I'm no. not just silencing yes, them. No. I mute them yes, by fire. Yes, no. Son, I mute them. I mute them. I press the mute button right now. Jesus. Let's continue. Can I continue? Overrule the decision of the owner. Because when the owner does any decision, still go over the decision of the owner. This is the next one. And this one is very good. Make sure that the master is sitting on you. 
Pastor Daniel, what's the meaning of the master sitting on me? I'm glad you asked me. Can I tell you? The master sitting on you means you are in close proximity with the master. If the master is sitting on you, let me show you. If the master is sitting on you, it means your skin is to his skin. There's no space. It means my Christian life, I'm more closer. I'm more praying. I'm more fasting. I always give my tithe. I give my sacrifices. I give my offerings. I'm connected to the master. So whilst we're shouting and I leave the village and I came to the city, how close are you to the master? How close are you to the master? You come to church once every Sunday, the whole month once. Six months once. When the demon is chasing you, it comes more. Oh. When I come to church, do I join the department? I'm close to the master. When my man of God is looking for me, can he find me? I'm close to the master. That's how you become. Let the master sit on you. And now let me give you two prophetic directions on how to overcome the strong man and the village. Can I tell you? Number one. Two prophetic directions. Number one. You take olive oil and you anoint your neck your hands and your feet because when you are tied they tie your neck your hands and your feet and what breaks the yoke is the anointing isaiah 10 27 kgv so this is the first prophetic direction in that day say that day in that day can i give you good news that's right that day is today yes lord oh oh, oh. Yes, i said lord. Yes, that lord. day is today yes, that day lord. is today Jesus. it shall come to pass in that day that his burden Will be taken off from the shoulder that is the hands his yoke from off thy ne- neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing as the person around you where's your anointing where's your anointing so you take the olive oil you anoint your neck and say anything at all i break it you anoint your hands because your shoulder is connected to your hands and your feet and it will be broken now the second prophetic direction what i'm teaching you is a spiritual thing I'm not supposed to show you on a Sunday service like this. It's supposed to be a prayer meeting. I show you this, but it's for everybody. The second direction. Can I show the second direction? Someone say the stone. stone. Let me tell you the stone. When Jesus was sitting on the donkey and people were happy, the Pharisees said, Hey, keep quiet. Why are you saying Hosanna? And he said, Hey, if you tell them to keep quiet, the stones will speak. It means the stones will do the walking. What is the meaning? You take a stone anoint seven stones pray on the stone stand in front of any junction close to your house and say go let this junction i'm standing on represent spiritual village as i throw the stone let every strong man goliath fall that's why david defeated goliath with the stone strong man yes sir jesus so with all the things jesus can use to silence the devil why did he say if you keep quiet the stones will speak that's what it happened. Islam, give me the test on that same particular place. He said, we tell them to stop. He says, if you keep quiet, I will, my father will call the stones to, re- to speak. Give it to me right now. So hear me. Two directions. Anoint your neck. Anoint your hands. Anoint your feet. Number two. Take stone seven. Stand at the junction of your house to represent the spiritual village. And say, as I throw the stone, let every strong man, let every Goliath, let it fall down by fire. Whatever you are clapping, say, Aris. Say, I break the strong man. I break the strong man. He says, I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. It means the stones will do the talking. Let the stones do the talking. I said, let the stones do the talking. Yes, Lord. So David killed Goliath because Goliath was a strong man. So he had to stand over there at that particular valley of Soko. And he declared. And Goliath fell down. Some would say, Pastor Daniel, but David picked five stones. Why should I pick seven? Can I tell you why? David picked five stones because at that time, David didn't know Jesus. So when he picked five stones, he was picking Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. But now you and I, we already have Jesus inside of us. So we can... So I don't need five. I've got to take seven. Why? Because when Jesus comes to me, he perfects me. 
my God, my God. He my perfects God. everything that is connected to my destiny. And let me give you the last good news. Can I give the last good news? Do you know that? Do you know that anybody that has an, an animal have names for them? They are pet, right? Uh, um, some dogs are called peace, joy. One day I went to somebody's house and their dog was called Daniel. When I entered and I, and I heard that they said the dog is called Daniel, I said, I'll not come here again. So even, even those who have animals, they name them. So that donkey Jesus Christ went to take, let me tell you, it had a name. Do you know the name? The name of that donkey was called Abubuya. So that donkey, that day, when Jesus sat on it and it was in the marketplace in Jerusalem, and mind you, every donkey owner do not have just one donkey. They have how many donkeys? Plenty. So all the other donkeys that are useful to the owner, they are already in town working. But when Aboboya go to Jerusalem, then one of the other donkeys was going say, Ah, Aboboya, we left you in the village. Why are you here? Then Aboboya said to the other donkey, I don't know, but there was a man, the master, who saw me the master. when everyone rejected me he saw me he sat on me that's why i am here then abobo ya said to the other donkey hey have you seen yourself you are only working in the city but as for me i have palm branches around me all the women are clapping their hands for me Please, all their clothes are on me that's and what? i'm working on a red carpet ah, can i speak to you God, all God, the people that rejected God. you they are about to see you on your next level they will leave you there Jesus. but they will not find you there yes, they will find you in a new elevation Jesus. south aboboya aboboya where are you going where are you going and and, and, and um, hear me in my last statistic and look at it right now look at what they did the bible says and they also put their clothes on the donkey why because this donkey has been outside for a long time so rain falling on him sun coming on him in time that donkey was dirty so jesus christ said you've been so dirty but i will cover your scars Lord, yes, people Lord. know you of your past so they are laughing at you but he's about to cover your so when he covers your scars this is what happens when you tell them what you have been through they will not understand you when you tell them that 10 years ago in this Accra you were homeless they will say you were a liar because when they see you now you already have two houses when you tell them some few years ago you were begging before you eat you say no 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 you already own a restaurant listen he will cover you of your past so that when you tell them your story you will prove to them and say hey yes, this is my scar yes, my scar has turned to be my star I'm done be on your feet be on your feet say Hosanna Hosanna. Say Hosanna. Hosanna. Say Hosanna. Hosanna. I'm coming. I'm coming. From the village. From the village. I'm already. I'm already. In the city. In the city. Lift up your right hand. First prayer. Just one prayer. Lift up your hands. Um, um, the whole Easter season, you are bringing your red communion. Say red communion drink. Red communion drink. Everybody. And on Tuesday, I'm praying on this particular story that we are breaking and stopping the, um, the owner. In this summer, we are breaking it. And Wednesday, we are here evening. Thursday and Friday is 4 p.m. Good Friday. And God will touch your destiny. Lift up your right hand. Because why, why should that wrong owner fool around? As if that owner owns your health. Anytime strength is coming your way, your health is under attack. Who is that owner? Look at the scenario that happened over here. A young lady came to give a testimony. Whilst I was ministering, the young lady, all of a sudden, I said to a young lady, you will never be in jail. All of you were here. She started crying, crying and screaming. Why? This girl owns an event company. She does event deco. And one day they were doing an event deco place. Then one of her workers stood on the live wire and, and, and the worker died. When the worker died, the worker's family members are now saying that, no, we will make sure you go to jail. So that's when somebody brought the sister to the church. We pray for the sister. And I said, God will come to me. But before we pray about this case, who have you brought to stay in your house? She sat down and said, hey, prophet. Why? When the case happened, this sister called the mother's sister to come and stay with them. 
so that the mother and sister will comfort them. But not knowing when they even went to the funeral of the boy that stood on the life wire, the mother sister, being her own auntie, was telling the other family members, listen, this girl is bad, deal her. So one of the other family members of that guy who died came to the girl and said, I want to ask you one question. You call this woman your mother. Tell me the truth. Is she your mother? The girl said, yes. The man, the man said, no. Say the truth. Is she your mother? The lady said, no. When my mother died, she took over. I said, no, she's not your mother. She doesn't like you. Because she has come to us that we should charge you big money and put you in the jail. And the case is still pending at the police station. And all of us were here. Were you not here? We prayed, we saw the face of God, and I said that. May God break every agenda of the enemy. Shh, shh, protocols. We prayed, we saw the face of God. Do you know that when we prayed for her, what day was this? On a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. We prayed for the girl on a Wednesday. And all this time around, the auntie is staying in her house. So when she went home, I told her, when you go home, go and pour water and take a chest stone and put it in the house. Say, God, let this evil auntie live, live here. In the night, the auntie came to her. And, and this is the other thing. When the auntie came to their house, instead of the auntie sleeping in the guest room, the auntie said, I will sleep on your bed. And this girl being crazy enough made the auntie to sleep on her bed. And I told her, you're not a poor member. That's why you did that mistake. When the auntie came to sleep on her bed, in the special, it, it had a meaning. It means go to jail for me to take over. That night, she put the stone there, dropped the water. The auntie said, I'll go tomorrow. In the morning, the lady went to the CIDs. The CID said the case is still on. 2 p.m., the auntie left for the, poli um, left for the lorry station. When the auntie left for the police station at 2 p.m., 2.15, the same CID called again and said the case has been cancelled. God, yes, oh, can I speak to somebody? Jesus. Can I speak to you? Yes. The strong man is living your life now. See, I defend my friend and opana. Aunt Nicole, you're 215. They said, say, ah, the family has come. Almost a case no matter. 230. The auntie called back. I'm at the station. No car is coming. Can I come back? Get the same against you. God has come true. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. There's, there's a sister here who has a shop around the area where the lady who left, who left her shop open. She left her shop open. She said she traveled to where Togo to go and break things. And she gave the shop to the sister. No, no, the sister didn't go to the shop. Friday night, Saturday night until, until, until Sunday. Then she was there. Then one of the owners of the shop around the area said, Ah, why have you opened your shop like that? He said, Ah, no, I left my sister. The sister went, The shop is open. And this bachelor here, you can't open your shop for 30 minutes alone. The shop was intact. An owner there said, Sister, I think somebody was protecting your shop for you. And she told the person, It's not a somebody. There is something we call an altar that is protecting my shop. May God protect all ever Jesus. that pertains unto your life. Say yes. by fire. By fire. I break. I break. I stop. I stop. The strong man. The strong man. Listen, why is that only you? When somebody promises you now, say my tunnel. Add the identity. Why? The same person bought a car for somebody. Only you. Say you strong man. You strong man. Today I know you. Today I know you. The master. The master. Is coming for you. Is coming for As you. As I clap and pray. As I clap and pray. Get out. Get out. Clap and stop the strong man and the owner.